Hey guys, Miss Philly. Um, so annoying. I literally spent like from 7.30 a.m. till like 12, 10 p.m. waiting for this girl to pick up my Dior sunglasses. Like, I really don't want to let these go because they look really like fab on. And I feel like since I dyed the hair black, that it looks even more fab. <laughs> like the sides pop up more. But, um, yeah. And he's like, oh, it's too tight on the sides. Like, do you not know that that can be fixed with a screwdriver? Like, hello. It's just annoying because, like, I could have been thrifting during that time. I could have been doing something else. But I was just basically waiting for her at my apartment from 7 to 12. Because first she said 11. They're just like, oh, 12. And, you know, I don't want to, like, go back, leave, go back, leave or whatever. So I thought I'd just wait around for her. It's just super, super annoying. But, I mean, like, that is part of the game when you're a reseller. Sometimes people want to try shit on. Sometimes they don't like the way it looks. Sometimes, you know, it's part of the game. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so now I'm going to head over to Value Village on Pembina. Go check it out because I'm on the way there to go to St. Vital Mall. I have to drop off these, um, <clears throat> these Gucci glasses that I sold on Facebook. Um, they're kind of cool. <laughs> I can't see shit with them on because they have a prescription. And back when I was still wearing eyeglasses, I was going to put my own prescription in. But now that I have LASIK, I don't need to do that anymore. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, let's head over to Valley Village on Pembina. Check it out. Then head over to St. Vital to drop off these eyeglasses. <laughs> Um, we're at Value Village on Pembina. It's raining, it's gloomy, it's all of the above. Um, so we are going to go to go inside and check it out, see if there is anything inside. I feel like my skin color pops more with black hair. I don't know. I like the blonde hair too. I don't know. I figure I'm going to treat myself to professional blonde hair and extensions when I, once I lose like 80 pounds. I found a really nice MK bag yesterday. Oh, uh, MK um, wallet, but I gave it to my friend because of the Roberto Cavalli bag that we got off her at her expense. <laughs> 
so it was only fair. A lot of free space, so not a lot of inventory today. Okay, so we're just coming from Valley Village. We didn't find anything, which is fine. We'll try the one by Polo Park and then the one by my house, and we'll see if we find anything there. We were at St. Vital Center Mall. We're gonna meet that guy to buy my Gucci eyeglasses. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we're at Valley Village. Enough chit chat. Let's go inside, check it out. Zoo is up. So I kind of want to take a look at that. It's like an amazing price for it. Okay, so we have to prepay for this bag, which is fine, but it's kind of disappointing if we find something else and we have to use a different coupon. But let's look. Got a cute little Janye clutch there, but clutches usually don't sell for me. It's the coin purses that do. in case we see something on the other side that we want to snatch. No. Okay, <laughs> thank you for joining me today on our thrift adventures. We have one more value village to hit, but I just wanted to show you what we picked up. We picked up this Michael Kors bag. I thought it was, I'm not normally a fan of snake print, but it's not for myself. It's to resell. So, um, super cute. And it was only $40, but with my 20% off discount, I ended up paying $33. And I think that's pretty good. It is a factory outlet bag, but it's in clean clean condition no major signs of wear has a back pocket as well um and it's just a zip not a zip a um clasp closure 
as so, but it has like a top handle and a crossbody strap, which is nice. I'm hoping I can get about like, <laughs> um, I'm guesstimating about $60. I'm going to list it on my, on Facebook marketplace for 80 and then we'll try for like auction for like 65 ish. That's a cute bag. I like it. There's like no major wear on it. So, I mean, we scored 33. You can't beat $33 Michael Kors bag. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, let's head over to the next Value Village. Hey guys, we're at Value Village by my place. Let's go inside and check it out. Nancy. Look at her sexy body after uh, keto. <laughs> She's been on keto. Are you going to do a keto update? I just did. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go look at bags, as we usually do. This looks like Matt and Natty, but not really. Um... <laughs> that is. He's a good boy. Oh, look at this, so vintage, Von Dutch. Von Dutch, from like 2003. Paris Hilton used to wear Von Dutch and Ashton Kutcher all the time. Oh, that's interesting. That's cute. Nobody has bought my ugly purse yet. What is this, Daniel? No. I'm on my boys. Thank you. I thought this was Daniel for a minute. This is MJ, whatever that is. I don't think it's Mark Jacobs, but it feels like it's leather. For a secret. Bottega Veneta? No. Burberry? No. That's kind of cute. Coffee machine is so 80s or 70s. Okay, guys, we're coming from Value Village. We found nothing, <laughs> but we did run into Nancy, so that was nice. Um, yeah, I guess thank you for coming with me today. We did find that Michael Kors bag, so that was a treat, and probably we'll make some good money off that. Um, don't forget to remain positive, productive, and progressive, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.